Yo, what is good? What is the dealy, 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 yo? It is the real Dr. Dre here at Goat's Beard Homestead. Directly coming at your ass from the farm. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics in South Park. But South Park and Christianity. And religious dogma and blasphemy and all that. But we're going to watch a couple of my favorite episodes. So before this class, you should have watched Go, God, Go parts one and two, which explore um, extremist atheism um, and the getting rid of all isms because isms lead to violence. That's the moral and the satire there. Um, but today we, in class, we will watch Red Hot Catholic Love, one of my, probably my favorite, top, top favorite episodes of all time. And we are also going to watch Bloody Mary. Um, so, yeah, and then we'll talk a little bit about blasphemy. We'll talk about, uh, you know, uh, is God really a flying spaghetti monster? We'll talk about things like that. Uh, <laughs> and religion as dogma. And how dogma, you know, becomes problematic. Now, what is dogma? You know, it's basically, you know, the way you can think of it is a set of principles or rules or words or beliefs that are without beyond a doubt, inevitably totally 100% true and are the word. They are the way. Um, and the brilliant part of South Park, and the thing that I love the most, is that they challenge anybody, any religion, or any dogma that is, you know, essentially fundamentalist, which most dogma dogmatic views will be fundamentalist, uh, specifically when it comes to religion. So they rip on atheists. I mean, Red Hot Catholic Love, as you'll see, as much as they rip on the Catholic Church, they really rip on atheists. Uh, primarily. Uh, go, God, go, or rip on atheists. They rip on, uh, you know, Christians, Catholics, Jews. They rip on, I mean, essentially every, every religion, um, Mormonism, Scientology, as we'll see in our next class, um, but not the religions themselves, not, not necessarily the beliefs, but often the believers and how the believers execute the beliefs of the religion, how they tout them as truth, and how they exploit people who believe in those faiths. So that's kind of what we're going to get into today. We're going to chop it up, talk about it. I'd love to have y'all in, in person um, so we could, you know, converse on these matters. But you know what? You just got to listen to my dumb ass talk about them. So, uh, but you'll be happy to know that I spent this morning watching Red Hot Catholic Love, Bloody Mary, and the Go God Go episodes with my almost three-year-old son, and he had a great kick out of them. He's uh, really, really, really turned to loving South Park uh, this spring. So that's, a, that's an amazing thing. He's two and a half or, you know, around there, I don't know, you know, almost three, I guess two and a half, but anyways, he was laughing his ass off, um, specifically when people would crap out of their mouths <laughs> in uh, Red Hot Catholic Love. Okay, but, you know, I kind of talked about what dogma is, but really just acknowledge that, you know, the issue with these rules or laws, um, views, ideologies, written words, however you want to kind of think about it, is that these things ultimately are truth. And, 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 and truth without question, um, and, and reflected and represented and adhered to as they are truth without any sort of question. You cannot question these truths. And they come from, um, you know, a mouthpiece of authority. There, there's, there's authoritative weight behind uh, these laws. And this is really an exploration that we see in uh, Red Hot Catholic Love. So... These rules or laws, um, as expressed in words, you know, um, and through the, the you know, orals, you know, oral expression, etc., um, you know, they become the fulcrum of these ideological systems of, of beliefs that you should not question um, them. And, um, you know, the issue with dogma and dogmatic views uh, is that, 
what happens, you know, really, what happens when you start to question, you know, the dogma itself, when you start to question those laws and rules and why they're in place? And you see this all the time when people uh, often, you know, in fundamentalist sex, Catholic, uh, Christian sex, or, um, you know, sex of, uh, sex mean, mean S-E-C-T-S, not sex, um, of Mormons who are fundamentalists, you know, mostly believing in polygamy and other, and other things, um, you know, um, you know, but what happens when members, and you see this all the time, if you watch like cult shows or, or anything, uh, you know, specifically very dogmatic and fundamentalist religious groups, you know, that, you know, what happens when members start to question the dogma at the core of the system? And, and what happens when those members question it is that the system unravels. Now, you see this at the more or less cult level that has really important, you know, detrimental effects to that, um, that group because cults tend to be smaller, hundreds, if, which is larger, thousands, but not millions of people, you know. But just imagine if every Catholic started to question the views um, and the beliefs of, of Catholicism, you know, what would that do to that? that that system and in, in essence you know that maybe has happened um to that that religious you know group just because you know you, you look at the decline of the catholic church um you know um, numbers economically a lot of that stems from the early 2000s and the sex abuse uh, scandals but also the decline of um the you know religion specifically Christian religions at the center of, you know, American culture and, and, and life. There's just so many people who are just incredibly secular um, and have no religious beliefs, or they grew up with a specific religion but never practiced it, or they're recovering Catholics. I know many people that call themselves that, um, etc. So, um, <clears throat> but what we'll see in... in, 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 in um, in Red Hot Catholic Love is what happens, you know, when Father Maxi questions the um, these secret beliefs of the Roman Catholic Church, um, you know, and we see like in this episode, you know, when he changes the 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 Holy Law Vatican Law that says that you can have uh, sex with boys, um, you know, the whole Catholic Church crumbles. Now, that's obviously in incredibly uh, satirical, um, you know, the whole, the whole thing. But what it really brings up to the point is, if you have these, let's say, perceivably ridiculous or uh, non-logical, non-reason-based religious viewpoints, uh, you know, which we see in Go, 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 um, you know, um, what happens when members challenge challenge those those things and how can that affect the, the the system so father maxi you know really represents you know skepticism um, from within um, you know of these sort of secret beliefs which which is part of the roman catholic religion so